Most inventors, people who have created great things, ask themselves this one question before creating greatness. That question is, what if everything that you believe about life is wrong? Completely and utterly wrong. None of us are free from our ego mind. None of us are free from our beliefs. But if you could get yourself free, how would it feel? Are your values and your lifestyle connected? Do you live your values? Do you every day get up and do what you believe? Or are you going through the motions and waiting for the right time to change? That is an important question that we should all be asking ourselves. Is there another way? There are no longer any silver bullets to the major problems that we're facing on the planet today. We've actually got to re-educate ourselves and ask harder questions ourselves to get better answers. You can't solve a problem with the same level of awareness that created the problem. If you think about vegetation, nature tells us to have more vegetables than fruits. Nutritionists have told us that for years, but why? Chuck away the diet books, chuck away the exercise books, you know, move more, eat less. And as fundamental and as basic as that seems, and people don't want to hear that message, you know why? Because it's not sexy enough. It's an amazing, amazing system. So why would it produce anything that was wrong? I had to ask that question. What if a symptom was there to tell us that something needs to change? There's a great divide between the rich and the poor, and the economic system disadvantages um, a huge proportion of the world. And so, you know, that's evil. That's real evil. The way I look at the world is the culture has to change. What is the hope for the future? What is, what is it that we're bringing our families, our children, their children into? We're looking for truth. And until you go into your heart, you will never know that that is the truth.